My name is Gopal Kumar Das, based in South Africa, Cape Town. Uh, I first read the science of self-realization like about like, around 10 to 12 years ago. And since I was searching for spiritual life from childhood, it just answered all the questions I ever had in my life. Um, basically, the science of self-realization makes us realize actually that we're not these bodies. We eternal part and parcel of, uh, parcels of God. And therefore, our only duty actually is to please the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And by pleasing the Supreme Personality of Godhead, one fully finds satisfaction. As the Western, Western culture teaches us actually, the more material things you acquire, the, the more happier you become. And that, that has been proven not to be true. We see so many people with lots of material things, but never happy. So therefore, Krishna consciousness is the original consciousness of a soul. It's not like something which is imposed on the mind or something. It's what we're supposed to be actually to understand that we're not these bodies. Uh, we've been influenced by our society, politics and everyone, media, everyone, that actually we are these bodies. Therefore, all our lives are based on like pleasing the body, pleasing the body. And because the body is, a material, is made of material elements, it's never satisfied. That's why one has to focus on the soul, on self, a self which is a soul. Therefore, by focusing on the self and acting according to the nature of a self, then one finds satisfaction. There's no other way. Hare Krishna. The leagues of zombie nyaupe teens wildly waving warped minds at sympathetically self-conscious passerbys who they see as silently synthetic spies out to get them. Finnish sweeties leaking light between the eyes whilst clad in neon colored tees with proud prints of positive messages.